Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun little riddle. How many times do the hands of a clock overlap in a day? What are the times? Give your answers to the nearest second. Versions of this problem have been asked as interview questions at technical companies like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. Other versions have even been asked at investment banks like Goldman Sachs. Can you figure it out? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. In order to answer this question, we need to have a few definitions. The hands of a clock will typically refer to the minute and hour hands. Then, a day will typically begin at 12 midnight. So imagine it's January 1st and we're at 11 p.m. As we advance one hour, it's going to be January 1st until we strike midnight and then it will be January 2nd. So we want to count starting at midnight but not including the next midnight. So when I first heard this puzzle, I thought the answer was 23 times. This turned out to be wrong but here was my reasoning. I thought that the hands would overlap once in each of the 24 hours. However, I knew there had to be some sort of trick. So I was thinking about not counting midnight twice in the same day. In order to avoid double counting midnight, we need to remove one of the times that the hands are overlapping. So I thought the answer was 24 minus one, which equals 23 times. But it turns out the correct answer is 22 times. So I was wondering how many people actually know the correct answer and how many people got it wrong like me. So I shared a poll on YouTube and I'm so grateful that 74,000 of you replied. The correct answer of 22 was given by about 22% of you. Congratulations if you got the correct answer to this tricky puzzle. My answer of 23 was given by 14% of you. The most common answer was 24, which was given by 46% of the replies. And the remaining two answers of 25 were given by 6% and none of the above by 11%. Since only 22% of you gave the correct answer, that means 78% of you gave the incorrect answer. So we can objectively say this is a difficult puzzle. But why is the answer 22? This is one of those puzzles where you have to see it to believe it. We will start out at 12 midnight, and this is certainly one time that the hands will overlap. So what's the next time the hour and minute hands will overlap? The clock needs to advance about 65 minutes and 27 seconds to 105.27. I'll explain how to do this precise calculation later in the video. For now, we will simply observe that the hands overlap at this interval. So the next time will happen about 65 minutes and 27 seconds later, and this will be 210.55. We then will have an overlap in the three o'clock hour. This is going to be 316.22. We then have another overlap at 421.49, then it occurs at 527.16, we have 632.44, 738.11, 843.38, and 1054.33. So we have one overlap in each of the hours going from 12 to 10. So we would now expect another overlap in the 11 o'clock hour. But look at what happens in the 11 o'clock hour. As the minute hand is approaching the hour hand, the hour hand is slowly going towards the 12. So eventually we don't have any overlap in the 11 o'clock hour. The next overlap happens when the hands are pointing to 12. So this will be 12 noon. And this is why we only have 11 overlaps in the first 12 hour interval. In this next 12 hour interval, starting at 12 noon, we are of course going to have the same 11 overlaps. So it'll be 
and 10.54.33. Once again, as we get to the 11 p.m. hour, the hands are not going to overlap because the hour hand is going to go to the 12 before the minute hand could catch up to it. So the next time the hands will overlap will be at 12 midnight, but this will be for the next day because the next day starts at 12 midnight. So we can count out there are 22 times that the hands overlap. And that's the answer to this counterintuitive puzzle. But the answer alone doesn't actually tell us how to solve for these times, nor does it tell us anything about the structure. It is the solutions that mathematicians are interested in. So let's dive a little bit deeper into this question. How can we calculate the exact times? So here's one way that we can do it. We have a clock and we know that there are 11 times the hands overlap in 12 hours. Since the hands move at a constant speed, we know that these are divided up equally around the 12 hours. So we know that the overlap occurs 12 divided by 11, which equals 1 and 1 over 11 hours. Now we can convert 1 over 11 hours into minutes because there are 60 minutes per hour. So we multiply 1 over 11 by 60, to get 5 and 5 11 minutes. We can then convert 5 over 11 minutes into seconds because there are 60 seconds per minute. So take 5 over 11, multiply it by 60 to get 27 and 3 over 11 seconds. We now want to round this to the nearest seconds. So we take one hour, five minutes, and about 27 seconds. So the overlap occurs at approximately every one hour five minutes and 27 seconds. So we now calculate the precise times. We start out that the first overlap occurs at 12 midnight, and then we just add this interval. So the next one will be 105.27, and we just keep adding this. We will be able to calculate the precise times that the hands overlap. So we end up with 11 times in 12 hours, and then we basically repeat these in the PM. So this will give us a total of 22 times in 24 hours for one day. But there are also other interesting ways to approach this problem. Another way is a graphical method that I saw in the blog Data Genetics. So let's make a graph where the vertical axis is the rotation of either the minute or the hour hand. And this goes from 0 to 360 degrees. Let the x-axis be the hour. Let's just go from 1 to 12. Now, in one hour of time, the minute hand makes a full 360 degree rotation. So we can graph the rotation of the minute hand as going from 0 degrees at the start of an hour to 360 degrees at the end of the hour. This is a linear rate, so it'll be a straight line. This will happen in every one of the hours. So we can make this sort of line in every one of these 12 hours. Now notice each of these lines has a closed endpoint on the beginning of the hour, and it's an open interval at the end of the hour because we don't want to count the same time twice. Now what happens for the hour hand? The hour hand is going to make a 360 degree rotation every 12 hours. So this is going to be a straight line that's going from the bottom left to the upper right. We now have the times at which the hour and minute hands overlap as the intersection points of this graph. We simply count these intersections and we're going to get that there are 11 intersections between these two graphs. The only thing we have to be careful about is there is an open endpoint on both of these graphs so we don't want to count this final intersection. The graphs do not intersect at these. So the graphs intersect 11 times in 12 hours, and this will be at even intervals because both of these are linear graphs. So just as we calculated before, this will be approximately every one hour, five minutes, and 27 seconds. So in 24 hours, we are going to get 22 times that the hands overlap.
So this is another way that we can solve this puzzle. I've now demonstrated a couple of visual ways to approach the problem, but it is also instructive to know how to solve it algebraically. So let's start out with the clock at 12 midnight. At what time will the hands overlap again? We certainly can let the minute hand go one hour, and we know at one o'clock the hands will not overlap. So it will take at least 60 minutes. So from one o'clock, how many minutes will it take until the minute hand overlaps the hour hand? We need to calculate the rates of speed of the minute and hour hands. So let's start out with the minute hand. The minute hand completes a 360 degree rotation in 60 minutes. So this will be six degrees per minute. What about the hour hand? Well, the hour hand has to go 12 hours to make a complete 360 rotation. So the hour hand goes 1 12th of that in 60 minutes. So 360 divided by 12 divided by 60 minutes is equal to 0.5 degrees per minute. But now the hour hand has a slight head start. It has already gone 60 minutes ahead. So 60 minutes multiplied by 0.5 degrees per minute is equal to 30 degrees. So we now can set up an equation. Let x be the time at which the hands overlap. In 6 times x, we will have the number of degrees that the minute hand has advanced. Now the hour hand has already advanced 30 degrees, plus it will go 0.5 degrees per minute multiplied by x number of minutes. So we have this simple equation, 6x is equal to 30 plus 0.5x. Subtract 0.5x from both sides to get 5.5x is equal to 30. Divide both sides by 5.5, so x is equal to 30 over 5.5, which equals 60 over 11, which equals 5 and 5 over 11 minutes. We need to add that to the 60 minutes starting from 12. So this works out exactly to the answer we had before of approximately one hour, five minutes, and 27 seconds. So we can now calculate all of the times. We start at 12 midnight and we just keep adding this interval and we're going to get all of the times that the hands overlap. And this is going to be 22 times in a day. Let's now approach the problem algebraically in a slightly different way. So we have the hands starting at 12 midnight, they overlap. What's the point at which they overlap again? We again go 60 minutes until we get to one o'clock. We now have a difference of five minutes between the minute hand and the hour hand. So let's imagine a little race where the minute hand needs to catch up to the hour hand. If the hour hand didn't move at all, the minute hand would just have to move five minutes to catch up to the hour hand but we know the hour hand moves slightly from there. The hour hand will move five minutes on the clock face for every 60 minutes that the minute hand moves. So this will be a rate of one over 12. So as the minute hand moves five minutes, the hour hand has moved five over 12 minutes. So now the hour hand is five over 12 minutes ahead of the minute hand. So the minute hand needs to go five over 12 minutes ahead. But as the minute hand goes this distance ahead, the hour hand slightly moves forward at a rate of one over 12 of that. So this will be five over 12 squared. So now the minute hand needs to move five over 12 squared more. And we can see this process is going to repeat indefinitely because the hour hand has moved slightly forward at this point as well. So then the minute hand needs to move five over 12 cubed and so on, and this is going to be an infinite series for the minute hand to catch up to the hour hand. What's the value of this infinite series? We have a first term of five and a common ratio of one over 12. So this is equal to five divided by one minus one over 12. This simplifies to be five divided by 11 over 12, which works out to be five and five over 11 minutes. So we add this to the 60 originally, and we once again get that the overlap happens approximately every one hour, five minutes and 27 seconds. And just as before, starting at 12 midnight, we can keep adding this to find all of the 22 times 
that the hour and minute hands overlap. And that's the answer to this amazing riddle. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.